A UNM student was shot and killed near his home just steps away from campus. A day later, another student had a gun pointed at him. Those attacks near campus have students fearing for their safety. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live at UNM. Rebecca. Well, Dean and Jessica, the incident where the student says a gun was pulled on them was just a few blocks from here down on Yale. But the morning before, a student was found dead just a block from where we're standing over on Stanford. I spoke with many of his friends who say he had a promising future. Shot to death. Left on the sidewalk early Tuesday morning at the corner of Stanford and Central, just across the street from the entrance to UNM. The death of 26 year old UNM student Juan Carlos Romero has shaken students. It's kind of crazy. This is, you know, things that feel so foreign, but it was right here, like practically on our campus. The next morning, another student was approached by a man with a gun at Central and Yale. No suspects are in custody in either case. I feel like, given the fact that our school is like on Central. I mean, that's like one of the sketchiest streets that we have. Some students say crime is never ending near campus, which is reflected in APD's crime map. There's been dozens of calls for car break ins, burglaries, and stolen cars just in the past four weeks. Being held up, things getting stolen, like bikes getting cut from locks, is a pretty frequent occurrence around here, honestly. APD says it's one of their busiest corridors. This is where I live, and I, this is where I walk to go get food and to get coffee. So just thinking that someone was on their regular commute to class or to grab food and that they just got killed. UNM police, which handles crimes on campus, say they're getting more calls since the two incidents, likely because students are on high alert. Meanwhile, UNM's Dean of Students, Nasha Torres, is hoping they'll get some answers into why someone killed Romero, a native New Mexican and a graduate student with a promising future. It's a terrible loss for the entire university, and this particular instance was really alarming for a lot of people. Now, police have not released any more information on the murder. The incident that happened when a gun was pulled on another student, they say he was approached by a man trying to sell him an item when he refused. They say the man pulled a gun on him, then took off. Police have not said if the crimes are connected. They say they are not connected. Dean Jessica, back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Now, we asked APD if officers are patrolling that area of Central more often. They say they already have lots of patrols in the area.